psycho pose. I wouldn't say everything I touch turns to gold, but I do think I have tenacity. She's a pop music icon. I thought that she was so against what my parents would approve of that I instantly loved. She's bold and she's brave and she's not afraid to be who she is. Madonna is a master of her own art. Her music videos are all very iconic. I think one of the most significant things she did was really tie together the imagery of music with the sound of music. <laughs> I think Madonna videos ultimately strike a chord because they're drawing on things past, present, and sometimes even future. Join us as we relive the top 30 Madonna music videos of all time. Catch me if you can. Hello, I'm Tanya Kim. Welcome to part one of Star's Countdown of the 30 best Madonna music videos of all time. Let's get right to it. First up, the video shoot that had Madonna in pain and how the singer made a magazine spread come to life. I think Madonna looks great in the video, especially for someone of her age. The first thing that came to my mind when I saw the Give It To Me video was a huge fashion spread. The Give It To Me video was done with all the different scenarios that were presented in the Elle magazine photo spread. And um, it was just spectacular. Just like flashy and hip and there's like six Madonnas on the screen at once. Like you couldn't ask for anything more. <laughs> Well, Beautiful Stranger, of course, hooking up with Canada's Mike Myers. <laughs> Ew. So this was a way for her to get back in touch with her fans that um, may have left post Ray of Light to through a pop culture icon such as Mike Myers. If I could just forget about you. Well, I I wouldn't say that I would watch that video over and over again um, because Mike Myers is in it and. I don't associate my Madonna videos with Mike Myers. It's good to be me. <laughs> now there's almost always some connection with her to Spanish culture. She always back bounces back to that. I think I must have been Latin in another life. I've I've always um, been attracted to Latin culture. But that was sort of the first time she did that. And it was, it was, it was, it was beautiful. It's almost as if you can't watch it without like having a little bit beads of sweat dripping down. Maybe like some sweat in, in, in the cleavage of your breast. Oh my God, it's so dirty. But that, that's the kind of video, it's hot, right? to a lot of the um, popular belief is that you, know, you shouldn't, you know, taint a classic song. But Don McLean actually said, you know, I've had a lot of gifts from God, but this is my first gift from a goddess. Except for her jeans falling down and where you can see her butt crack, which is kind of fun. Uh, there's nothing good about that video. <laughs> At least Rupert Everett wasn't singing it with her. It's absolutely one of the hottest Madonna videos of all time. This whole video has been inspired by Saturday Night Fever. It's a tribute to John Travolta and that whole era, all that jazz, Bob Fosse, a chorus line, Olivia Newton-John, we love you. She's got this giant boom box and she's dancing around, she's in a leotard and she actually shot that video literally days after breaking her ribs and falling off of a horse. I need somebody to get me up, I need somebody to take me down. It's a remarkable feat when you watch that video to think that this is a woman who is damaged doing this.
And of course it had the, uh, the flute hook from Gimme 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 from ABBA. Hung up the purple jumpsuit. Um, you know, to me, when I watch that video, all I think about is how she managed to avoid the camel toe. Physical, physical. I love Secrets. Secrets are one of my favorite videos. In comes this bleach blonde sort of Harlem. It was filmed in Harlem. Harlem sort of ghetto princess sitting in her apartment going to sing with a blues band in a bar. She's baptized at one point in the video. Secret was the time when she was very, you know, it was post-erotica and she had this kind of bittersweet attitude about herself because she had been so beat up by the media, but at this point she was kind of like, you know, I'm just going to do it and if you like it, you like it and if you don't, you don't. Coming up, that hair and the headband and everything, you know, I loved it. I loved that video. Hi, this is Chuck Storm. I'm live at the scene where last night there was a robbery at about 3.30 in the morning. Now police have... Oh, uh. Welcome back to Star's Countdown of the Top 30 Madonna Music Videos. Now before we reveal our next picks, including a classic dance routine that got a little too revealing, let's see what the stars have to say about the pop legend. I love Madonna, man. My favorite Madonna, there's a lot of good videos. What's the one when she was in the chair and she had the braids? I like Ray of Life. That's always been my favorite video. Definitely. Yeah. We got four minutes to say the words. She's just bold and she's brave and she's not afraid to be who she is. I love you, Madonna. Shout out to Madonna. Now, back to the countdown. Next up, the material girl mixes beats with Botox. Like the smell of it in Hollywood How could it hurt you when it looks so good? Well, she's basically screwing a television. She's screwing a television set. It represented the, the glamour and then the other side of it. And then you had her getting the Botox injections. She's criticizing, but she's also showing the glory and the guts of it. On the one hand, we have all this great stuff happening, you know, all this, this success, all this beauty, all this glamour, but then what's really going on behind the pretty picture? I'm cool and all these great looking guys and girls. But then you watch the video and you realize, actually I don't really want to go to those parties in that way because it kind of looks scary. pink balloons that she takes into the club. I think they were supposed to, and the last one is kind of set free. Like to do. So it's her kind of way of showing, getting caught up in stuff, and then having her childhood net like ripped away from her, essentially, by those balloons being cut. I thought the video was very simple, but very beautiful. And just the song and, and the whole feel of it, the um, sort of uh, yearning really struck a chord for me. It's just Madonna waiting around for a phone call an entire video, which I guess is kind of classy in a way. And she really looks hot in her lingerie in the apartment. <laughs> Borderline is my favorite Madonna song of all time. Those um, neon orange heels, like I've never seen those heels ever again. I don't think they make those even now that neon's back in. Just the way the sun hit her face and it was just one of those moments where it was like she captured New York, which is one thing that Madonna's really good at doing, being a child of New York herself. It almost, looking back, is the way that you want to remember New York City and how it was in a day and age that 
they'll never be able to get back. The first video that I remember seeing by Madonna was Lucky Star. I think I was uh, 14 years old. And what I remember most about it, of course, was uh, the belly button. You must be my lucky star. You shine on me wherever you are. From the very beginning, actually, when, when everybody was like into my belly button and, and this whole like material bro thing, I mean. To me, that was all a flute. That was the way I dressed. Well, Lucky Star was like the video that kind of was a, a preface to what the rest of her career would be like, attitude-wise, because she kind of looked at the camera and she had that wink and a nod. And she had some, like, that hair and the headband and the everything, you know? I loved it. I loved that video. Still ahead. Apparently, there's these scenes where she's dancing in her one-piece black bustier type thing. And there is a part where you can see Madonna's nipple for a flash of a second. In our countdown of the best Madonna music videos, the singer goes from goth girl to guard dog, and the song critics commonly compare to a classic Michael Jackson hit. But first, here's a recap of what we've seen so far. 30, give it to me. Give it to me. 29, beautiful stranger. Beautiful stranger. 28, La Isla Bonita. La Isla Bonita. 27, American Pie. Bye, bye. 26, Hung Up. 25, Secret. 24, Hollywood. 23, Deeper and Deeper. 22, I Want You. 21, Borderline. 20, Lucky Star. You must be my lucky star. Ah, you gotta love that lace headband. <laughs> now let's take a peek at number 19. You're frozen when your heart's not open. For the, um, the Frozen video, she was exploring sort of a more dark, Asian-influenced um, filmmaking technique and these sort of dark, ominous crows that are coming across the entire video. It's actually very stirring imagery. Frozen was an amazing video when it came out because it was after Evita and people were, again were sort of wondering what is this one going to do next? Like she kind of got boring. Don't cry for me, Argentina. Madonna comes back as this like sort of East Indian witch transforming into crows and big dogs. Love is a bird. Frozen, I just thought was just a beautiful song about about yearning and trying to connect with somebody. If I could melt your heart. Wow. Jamie Lynn Spears. So many things I loved about this video. I loved the leather jacket. I loved her short hair. Um, the guy, he's so hot. Papa Don't Preach, which Rolling Stone magazine considered to be Madonna's Billie Jean. The, the subject matter of both songs were similar, just sung in different ways. She wears that Italians Do It Better t-shirt, which became big then and then years after when it became Cabalist Do It Better. Apparently, there's these scenes where she's dancing in her one-piece black bustier type thing. And there is a part where you can see Madonna's nipple for a flash of a second. But essentially it was about her life being put into a box or boxes by society and her kind of restraining to get out of these boxes. The ropes in the video were symbolic to the, the restraint that she felt the public had on her. Human Nature, such a great hot video with the full pleather outfit, her own chihuahuas featured in it, those are her own little doggies that are in that video. Express yourself.
Now, she is one white girl that could rock some cornrows. Absolutely no regrets. Up next. That bullfighter was gorgeous. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll always remember the gloves when she's drinking the martini and, you know, the look she gives with her eyes. Welcome back to our countdown of the best Madonna videos of all time. But who cares what we have to say? It's time for Madonna to speak. What's her favorite video? Take a look. Probably the video for Take About. Because we were in such a beautiful place in Spain and that bullfighter was gorgeous. Thank you very much. Good choice, Madge. Next up on our countdown, the video shoot where Madonna met one of her most infamous flames, plus the song that made Icelandic singer-songwriter Bjork mad. What it feels like for a girl. What it feels like for a girl. I don't think I'll ever understand why that video was banned from MTV. Uh, one of her first times working with Guy Ritchie and he directed it and um, a lot of it was meant to be funny. The reason why people have so much trouble is because pure and simple it's a woman doing a bunch of things that people don't have problem with a guy doing. In this was uh, another transition of hers. Like you went from Lucky Star and Borderline into more glamorous luck. The other thing interesting about Material Girl is that that's where she met Sean Penn, who later became her husband. You know, everybody talks about this video because Madonna was really tapping into the comparisons between her and Marilyn Monroe. But you know what? Like, I really loved that super hot kiss she had with the trucker. You can get used to the tears and the pain. Oh, Father was really well art directed, and in that case, it was because a lot of it reflected or was influenced by Citizen Kane. It's sort of this weird video dealing with the death of her mom and the relationship with her father. And then, of course, it trickled down to her relationship with Sean or other men in that capacity. I got away from you. I never thought I would. It was actually one of her first videos that was very autobiographical. Bad girl, that's my favorite video. I'll always remember the gloves when she's drinking the martini and, you know, the look she gives with her eyes. It's not like a video, it is like a little movie. And who doesn't love Christopher Walken? The one thing that stood up the most to me in this video was that Madonna was actually a great actress. Bedtime story, you know, that was one of the first times really that people were using that much computer animation. She gives birth to doves. It was so angelic in a way. What's also really weird about it was that was the song that Bjork wrote and Madonna sang. And the song kind of makes fun of Madonna and makes fun of Madonna and fame. So Madonna sort of took the words, rearranged them, got a writer's credit, and so to this day, uh, Bjork is quoted as saying, she's totally messed around with my lyrics. That's not really my song anymore. I'll never explain again. Coming up. She had that fresh, platinum blonde, short haircut. At the time, I was just like, oh my god, and those tassels on her boobies are really cool. Welcome back. Still to come, the singer strips down for some unconventional club goers. But first, let's take a look at the videos we've seen so far. 30, Give It To Me. Give it to me. 29, Beautiful Stranger. Beautiful Stranger. 28, La Isla Bonita. La Isla Bonita. 27, American Pie. Bye, bye, Miss American Pie. 26, Hung Up. 
25, Secret. My baby's got a secret. 24, Hollywood. Hollywood. 23, Deeper and Deeper. A funky year, deeper, further I go. 22, I Want You. I want you. 21, Borderline. Borderline. 20, Lucky Star. You must be my lucky star. 19, Frozen. You're frozen. 18, Papa Don't Preach. Papa Don't Preach. 17, Human Nature. nature. 16, What It Feels Like for a Girl. What it feels like for a girl. 15, Material Girl. And I am a material girl. 14, Oh Father. Oh Father, I have seen. 13, Bad Girl. Bad girl 12, Bedtime Story. Let's get unconscious, honey. Ooh, so many good Madonna videos to choose from. Here's number 11. I remember being in sixth grade and Probably my first introduction to a strip bar. <laughs> At the time, I was just like, oh my god, and those tassels on her boobies are really cool. I've had to work much harder than this. That video is a big step for her in that she had that fresh, platinum blonde, short haircut. It was so kind of perverse with the little kid. But beautiful. I don't know. It was about innocence versus decadence, really. And in the end, I chose innocence. I mean, that's what the child represented. We hope you've enjoyed our Madonna countdown. I know I have. We leave you now with Madge's top pick, Take a Bow. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.